If you read in Habakkuk chapter 3 verses 17 to 18, it says, Though the fig tree may not blossom, nor fruit be on the vines, though the labor of the olive may fail, and the fields yield no food, though the flock may be cut off from the fold, and there be no herd in the stores, yet I will rejoice in the Lord. I will joy in the God of my salvation. Wow. Amen. You know, here Habakkuk is going through a difficult situation, you know, in a practical form, which means, you know, maybe he's going through a financial issue. His health report is very bad. You know, he's not having the finances to make all the bill payment or he has lost his job. And in such a situation, you know, where it is so dark, which is so hopeless and so hurting, in such a situation, Habakkuk decides and chooses to praise God, to rejoice in God. And how is it possible? Because when we are going through a challenging moment, a difficult situation where we have lost everything or there is no signs of anything good happening in our life, how is it possible to rejoice in God? Because the immediate reaction in such a bad situation for each one of us is to feel angry, is to complain, is to reason out, to figure out why things are not happening. But instead of doing that, Habakkuk is rejoicing in God. How is it possible? Because his focus was not his circumstances. His focus was God. You know what Habakkuk is trying to tell us? Even everything is a loss in my life. I will never be without God in my life. Amen. And that's an amazing confession. Is no matter what things are happening, as long as our focus is God, as long as we have God in our life, God will make the difference. God will make up for the loss in our life. You know, just think about it. How many days we have lost and wasted by feeling angry, by complaining, by figuring things out. But instead of that, if we choose every day, no matter what I'm going through, if my focus is God in my life, I will rejoice. I will be thankful. I will be grateful because God is the God of my salvation. He will save me from my bad season. He will save me from my bad situation and he will bring me out of it. Amen. God bless you.